Hey, welcome to our episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. It seems like I haven't had a Imperial Stout in a long time, although it's probably only been a couple of weeks. So let's break that fasting uh, from good old Boulevard Brewing Company, Barrel Age Tiramisu Stout, Ale with Coffee and Natural Flavors. And it's the 2024 edition. If you turn around to the back, 11% ABV. And this must be super fresh because it says it's good before September six of next year so i assume that's one year out so this is only about not even two months old actually before we get into the pour i just wanted to bring up the website real quick so this this cracks me up see how it's they misspelled coffee here <laughs> um so it says aged in soft red wheat barrels for our friends at holiday distillery and brew with espresso for our friends at the roastery i don't know either of those places uh although it says 11.2 on the website 12 ibus and it says, this is, here's another screw up. It says, need one, get it here. And if you click on it, page not found. <laughs> Whoever's running Boulevard's website needs to uh, update that. So anyway, pour it into the Spiegel barrel aged glass, which they actually call it that at total wine. You can see coming out of the bottle, I'm giving it like in a really aggressive pour and it's like barely foaming at all. And it is just brown, deep black. Get a little bit of a dark brown uh, coating of foam. I mean, it is a really strong beer. Wow. Okay. Huge coffee on this one. Huge vanilla. Kind of reminds me of the uh, uh, Southern Tier Creme Brulee. Like, it's really, it's like that much vanilla. It almost has like a waffle kind of smell to it. They didn't really say much about, you know, natural flavors added or whatever. I mean, okay, it does say ale with coffee and natural flavors, but... Um, yeah, it, I'm not super familiar with tiramisu, but... Yeah, this definitely smells like dessert. Like I said, it smells like creme brulee. Definitely get a ton of coffee. Actually, they should have called it it's like a... Um, it's gonna, it kind of smells like a diner, because it smells like waffles and coffee and... Um, vanilla, like a... Um, vanilla milkshake or something like that so if it tastes as good as it smells i think we're in for a treat cheers mm, wow that is it's like crime brulee wow very very sweet very uh vanilla forward i mean you can tell that they must have put like a ton of of these, uh, you know, whatever the the flavor is to mimic the tiramisu, it is the natural flavors. Coffee's kind of in the background. It gets, hits like a little bit stronger, like we're at the apex. And then in the, the finish, I get the uh, that eleven percent ABV comes in, kind of like dries it out, which is which is kind of nice because, like I said, this is a really sweet beer. But then you have the, the eight, you know, eleven percent ABV that you know it dries it out, so it doesn't. It actually does not really have much of a cloying aftertaste. I'm trying to pick up on the actual bourbon barrel character, and it's quite subtle. I don't think that this beer. Well, I mean, I would actually, I would have to have tried the the base brew, but I, you know, I was gonna say I don't think this beer actually. It probably didn't even really need to be bourbon barrel aged, because the the base pastry stout is like you know so robust and intense. Usually with when you bourbon barrel age like anything, the barrel character is either the star of the show or at least like in harmony with the based brew. This one is is definitely a background singer, not a foreground singer. It is only twelve IVU, so I'm, like I'm I'm really, really reaching to find any hops on here. I really can't. Um which you would think like, you know, because the beer is so sweet, like they would probably use quite a bit of hops to kind of balance it out but or you know just like really use a lot of uh, coffee to balance it out and i mean there's plenty of coffee here but it's not um you know it's not to the extent of like a kbs or some other you know imperial coffee stouts like i said the i think the alcohol because it's pretty drying at the end there. I think like that kind of helps uh, balance out the bitterness. I would not call this beer cloying. 
oddly enough, because it is actually really, really sweet up front, but oddly enough, it leaves a fairly clean aftertaste. I mean, definitely it has like a kind of a malty, sugary, vanilla kind of aftertaste, but it's not, you know, it's not sickly sweet or something. It's not like, I don't feel like the urge to like take a drink of water after you sip. It is really tasty. It is a little repetitive. It's not like super complex, but I am impressed by like how it's like so sweet and yet it's not cloying and you know, I mean it has it has like a slight kind of faux quality to it, you know. But um yeah, it's it's still tasty and really drinkable. And I, by the way, that eleven percent ABV, like I can barely even tell that it's there. And I'm drinking this more like kind of like at cellar temp. Like this is not um ice cold out of the, the fridge or whatever. Um oh I forgot to mention on mouthfeel. I mean, it's probably what you would expect. Pretty big body. I'd say it's like, yeah, I'd say it's like straight up full bodied. Carbonation seems a little low on it. It is not super thick and chewy. I mean, it's definitely on the heftier end. Whereas like, it's like, there's a difference between like full bodied and like very full bodied. So uh, yeah, this is like full bodied, fairly low carbonation. I'm about to go as far as to say just straight up low carbonation, but yeah. Um, but it is very smooth, just really, really gentle alcohol warmth and other presence. But, um, yeah, for such a sweet decadent beer, it's actually really drinkable. So yeah, uh, eight and a, or sorry, eight and a half out of 10 for the Boulevard barrel aged tiramisu style. I mean, it does deliver as advertised. It, it does taste like tiramisu. It's vanilla, maple, coffee, and the bourbon barrel is pretty nice. So. Anyways, I am going really, really long. If you watch all the way in, you're awesome. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for Cider Saturday. Cheers. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.